Let's talk a little bit about how Sugar CRM manages users, contacts, leads, and targets. When you know someone and when you know a little bit about someone but not all information, you call it target. Target is a person about whom you have a little bit of idea but that does not qualify as a lead or a contact. Now, Sugar CRM manages entities in one other form that is called contact. Contact is a well-known person or entity about whom you have a good idea, you have their contact details and that might be potential customer. Other type of entity is lead. Lead is something, someone who was already known to you and you somehow made them interested in the product you are going to sell. Other type of entity in Sugar CRM is users. Users are either Sugar CRM feature users or it can be a customer who are maintaining their own accounts, they are logging issues, they are logging cases which are assigned to you or one of the staff members. All these four entities are or are required to execute a campaign. Uh, to generate a campaign you have to prepare a list list is consisting of either contacts either target user or a lead and then finally you feed that list to campaign and campaign can be either email or it can be phone or it can be a web marketing there are multiple campaign options available now all these four can be related to external entity called account. Account can be a company or existing customer buying multiple products, buying multiple services. So either this user contact or lead may be attached to particular account. So all whole sugar CRM revolves around target, user, lead and contact. Generally you want to convert target either to contact or you want to convert them to lead and probably contact may become user or lead may become user later on as how you go about it. So that's all about campaign.